Welcome back to Out of the Rough, the Association of Women Entrepreneurs edition. I'm Tara McHugh, founder of the Association of Women Entrepreneurs, and I'm here with my co-host, Fred Arnold. I'm so excited. Yes, two we're great on guests. Our, yeah, we're on our nonprofit segment, and I'm super excited to bring back Debbie Morgan. She's CPA. She's um, on the board of this amazing organization that Beth Petit founded. It's called What Can We dot org. Correct. Well, that's the website. But um, so we're going to learn a little bit about that and her passion and why she started it. So, well, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks yes. for having me. And welcome. Thank Tell you. us about what can we. What is What Can We? And, and tell me about the inspiration of starting What Can We? Uh, WhatCanWe.org is, we're a nonprofit organization, and really the actual inspiration that started was a young man four years ago who had a charismatic smile and a compassion in his heart for animals. And he chose to do something with that. And he got involved and he volunteered at a rescue. And he inspired other young people to also volunteer. And a year ago, he unfortunately, we lost Christopher in a car mm. accident. Mm. And what started What Can We is that torch basically was passed along. So instead of letting that burn out, we're carrying that energy forward. And WhatCanWe.org looked at the biggest way we could carry on Christopher's mission in helping animals and what we could do for these benevolent rescue groups. And the major unmet need was unanticipated veterinary costs. Almost all rescue groups, more than 50% of their budget goes for that. Wow. Uh, it sounds like Christopher ignited the torch mm -hmm. he ignited that you guys are carrying. Fabulous. And so I met Beth through Debbie. Mm -hmm. And so Debbie, you're on the board. And so yeah. tell us what inspired you to get involved. Well, I've always wanted to work with animals and medical care somehow. And then when I met Beth, it was a perfect match. And I love that they help fund medical costs, basically, for the rescue. And so I had an, an animal that has since passed, but the vet, the vet, the vet costs, then like having surgery for like a cancer, it's, it's, it's astronomical, it's crazy. And I love that they provide that so more animals can be rescued. So I just, that was a real connection, a real passion with the animal and medical costs. Yeah, your love, your love for animals. Yes. I tell you, we have two dogs at home and sometimes the dogs will get fed before I will. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> because uh, our children are very close to Yeah, they're family yeah. members. Yeah. The compassion you have for uh, taking care of something, yeah. which is so important. Tell us about some of your goals. You know, what we really have an aspiration to become the St. Jude's of veterinary medicine. So we have a great vision, and not just a vision, but an implementation strategy. And we have Bob Ferber on our board of directors, who's a wonderful gentleman who is a, an attorney for Los Angeles, who started the first in the nation animal task force to prosecute abuse, neglect, abandoned animals. Not just to go out after them, but to have a team that prosecuted that. Mm. He's retiring mm. March 22nd, and he's coming on 50% time with our organization to chair this initiative. And what it will do is basically reassess existing resources and utilize them better so that we can one day provide in the very near future very low to no cost. We're calling it our after hours initiative. And, and you know, people can find out more about that, but we're very excited because we have a plan and we have a way to do this nationwide and just to spread it out everywhere. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, Fabulous. Yeah, you know, well, one thing that uh, would be great is those that want to reach out to you. How can they find out more about your organization? Well, we would love to have people find us on www.whatcanwe.org. That's our website. We have Facebook, Pinterest, wonderful mm -hmm. Pinterest boards. We're on Twitter, all the social media. But please visit our website. Check out the projects, things that we're doing. We'd love for people to get involved. Um, we have, if they're wondering what you can do, contact me. I have an answer for you. <laughs> you have a lot of great uh, different projects you're working on, yeah. including a cookbook that they yes. can learn um, about on the website. Yeah, the cookbook is a, a really great um, opportunity for people for a tax deductible donation. Their, their um, pet and or themselves can appear in our book and help what we're doing, help raise funds for the veterinary costs. And it's on the website. There's a lot of information, but it's a very unique book, and it will be out in October, just in time for the holidays. Perfect. So what can we .org? What can we .org? Perfect. I can imagine sending a picture of my dog trying to get the food on the countertop. As a picture. <laughs> Perfect. That we just yes. Mine does yeah. this little begging thing. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, again, thanks thanks for coming in. Uh, Debbie, thanks for bringing Beth in. Thank you. Uh, it's my a real, pleasure. real honor to see people that yeah. passionate about what they do. Mm -hmm. to help others, and in this case, help animals. Thank you for yeah. having us.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Out of the Rough. If you'd like to watch this online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have questions for Tara, myself, or you want to recommend some great guests like we had today, uh, please email me, fred at fredarnold.com. Hope this information helps get you out of the rough and into success. Until we speak again, make it a great day. Bye-bye.